Hello and welcome back again to this uh, DC Audio 5K board. Uh, so what I have done is I have replaced the uh, power supply driver transistors here. They're located in the middle of the board. I've got new ones in. I double checked and made sure there was no carbonized board around the areas, which there wasn't. So I was good to just remove the old burnt transistors and slide in new transistors. And uh, of course they're stood off the board and the tops are bound together. Uh, so this does help prevent from burning the PCB again in the future if something like this were to happen again. Uh, so it does just help bring that heat up off the board for you. I don't have gate resistors installed in the board and my goal right now is just to uh, fire up the power supply and make sure that my gate signals are correct. So let's go ahead and power this up. I do have my 10 amp 12 volt curly minute supply attached and I heard the relay click in and nothing is burning so that's a good start so as you can see you guys have the scope in the upper left hand corner of your screen and we're just going to go through and check some signals here so there is the gate signal we are at a perfect about 20 uh, almost 27 kilohertz which is absolutely normal uh, so we have an RMS voltage of 6 volts on the gate drive there. And let's check the other side. Uh, 6 volts on the gate drive, 26.9 kilohertz. I'm just going through and checking and making sure we have gate drive on both sides of the transformer. And at the same amplitude, 6 volts. Uh, six volts looking good. So that's telling me all these zeners are still functional. Six volts. And six volts. And six volts. So these are looking great. These are looking like something I would completely expect. 27.2 kilohertz. Let me just double check the frequency on this. 27.2, 27.2, and this side over here is 27.2. Perfect. Yep, six volts. All right, so the gate drive itself is exactly what I would expect to see. At 6 volts, 27.2 kilohertz. So it has gone up a little bit in frequency uh, since I first started it. So let's just make sure that there's no uh, temperature issues, I would say, with this. So as temperature increases, uh, the frequency has increased just a little bit. But not by much, only by what, uh, three to four hundred hertz. And there's no ringing, there's no undershoots, overshoots. Um, on those gate drives. So. That's exactly what we're looking for. So that's telling me that the power supply is good, is good to go to put uh, the gate resistors in. They're 47 ohm gate resistors. So we'll get those gate resistors in. And then I think what I'll do is I will fire up the desoldering gun, the good old hacko, and I'm going to pull the rest of the output transistors uh, 
just to be on the safe side. And what we'll do is we'll fire up the output section also and make sure that we have good uh, low side drive coming off these 21844s. So I think that's going to be our next step. We'll get some uh, gate drive resistors in, uh, get the 3205s, put in the power supply, remove the output transistors, and then fire this up again. So again, I'll be right back with you. All right, so we're back. So I got all new gate resistors installed in the power supply. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fire it up. And what I do is double check to make sure every gate pad has a gate signal. So, and I had got a comment um, on the previous video on this about the chassis grounds. And um, it's really kind of hard to see, but you can see the chassis grounds We're sticking outside the board here. Uh, typically, I don't have issues with the chassis grounds being a problem. So uh, as long as they're sticking out each side of the board, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and fire this up. I hopefully don't have any shorted or bridged solder. Traces anywhere on the board. We're going to find out real fast. Just a quick check just to make sure I don't have any solder bridges underneath, which it's not looking like I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check each gate pad and make sure each transistor has gate drive. Um, I like to protect as much as possible all the new components that get installed. And on some of these amplifiers, they can have such a high capacitance in the uh, power supply that if you have a problem with your gate drive you potentially could lose a transistor. So I just want to limit any of those possibilities of losing a transistor after I install them. Uh, so for instance if you have a amplifier that uses 12 3205s and you have only 12 on hand and of course they're all matched date code and you short one or short two or short three well now you have a problem now you're gonna have to start uh, start finding transistors or pulling out banks uh, parallel transistors to get everything matched up to work well it'll work but to be correct in the repair so we have gate drive at every transistor. So I'm firing up the uh, HACO, the FR301 here. I'm going to pull the output transistors real quick here. And uh, put in some 3205s in the power supply. And we'll, uh, we'll fire this thing up, see what it does. So again, I'll be right back with you. All right, I am back with this video. Let's hook up some power. All right. So I have all the new power supply transistors installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pulse the power supply to make sure and see if I have rail. I do which I do all right so I do have rail voltage um, I'm gonna also fire up my thermal camera to check the power supply transistors just to make sure none of them are abnormally heating up during the process of uh, building the rail voltage and I've already double checked that I don't have any shorts uh, my chassis ground leads are out, and 
this will let me know if I have any solder bridges too. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this up. All right, so the relay kicks in and I get zero heating on the power supply transistors. So, looking good. Yep, no heat whatsoever. All right, so that tells me at least we built rail voltage. So let's check our output switching and see if all four of these 21844 ICs survived. We're gonna go ahead and power it back up. And let's increase our voltage scale here. And as you can see, we do have the low side for one IC. So remember, these are too high, too, or, uh, too high and too low. So this one's low, this one's low, this one's low, this one's low, and of course, this is the other, this would be the high side, which is right where it should be. So we have drive, low side drive there. This is good. This is good. We have low side drive there. We have low side drive there. And then low side and low side. So that tells me both two and, or both, all four 21844s have survived. And I do have my plus minus 15 volts and 12 volts and 5 volts otherwise the card would not be running so let me get some output transistors in and we will actually fire this thing fully up and check the uh, input signals again i will be right back with you all right i got all new output transistors installed as you can see here uh, along the sides new these are the uh 24 and 40 f's in the, power, in the uh, output section. So let's go ahead and fire this board up. I do have a 50 hertz signal and the input at 1.5 volts on the input signal. So let's go ahead and start up the board here. And let's check our switching. And as you can see there on the screen, we do have switching on one IC, on two ICs. Three ICs, and last but not least, all four ICs have switching on it. So let's go over here to the output terminals and let's go ahead and zoom in on this uh, output sine wave. And there it is. There's that output sine wave of 50 hertz, just exactly what we're looking for. So that is the uh, quick uh, rebuild of a DC Audio 5K from a shorted output, uh, which uh, damaged the power supply, all the transistors, the gate resistors, the gate drivers, and a, uh, the output transistors and the ICs did survive. So uh, that's what I want to show you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below for me here. I will answer them as quick as I can for you. Uh, but just please remember these are customer boards, so I get them repaired, boxed up, and back out of here. So if you have specific questions about the board itself, um, we'll have to uh, just do our best uh, to answer those questions if this board has already been sent back out. So uh, that's uh, what we got here for today. So again, uh, keep your fingers out of the rails here uh, and stay safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.